Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial. And I'm going to basically be showing you guys how to create two parts, how to rename those two parts, and then how to combine those two parts into a third part. So we're going to go ahead and go File New, New Design. I'm going to draw in inches, change that to Plan View. And we'll go ahead and let's turn on our uh, Snap to Grid. We're going to draw a line out here over two inches, so type in two. I'm going to be uh, giving you the measurements so you can follow along if you want to create this part, two inches. Okay, now we're going to grab a circle tool, go on the endpoint there, we'll type in two. Then we're going to draw a smaller circle, type in one. Okay, now we're going to grab the circle tool again, come to the other end. We're going to draw 1.5, and then we're going to draw a circle out to 0.5. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, this tool here, which is the tangent line. We're going to go from, click on that. We're going to go from this point here to this point over here, tangent. And then from this point here to this tangent point here. Okay, now we're going to grab our offset tool. We're going to click on that line. We're going to move down 0.175. Going to click this one, move up 0.175. Okay, now we're going to grab our trim away tool. We're going to get these pieces here. Okay, now we're going to grab our uh, create rounded corner tool. I'm going to click here, click here, 0 0.091, 0 0.091, same over there, 0 0.091. Okay, so this is going to be the basis of our part. I'm going to go ahead and click that line there and get rid of it, and click that line there and get rid of it. So this is basically going to be one one of our first parts so we're going to pull we're going to go ahead and hold down control get rid of these we're going to grab our spin tool or select the spin tool we're going to pull we'll pull this out to one one inch click off it this is going to be our first solid part so we're going to right mouse click in the in the structure tree and we're going to say rename and we're going to call this part one okay so now we're going to go ahead and click that green line, come over here, hold down the control key, get that green line, hit key, K on the keyboard command, then V to swoop, to rotate that vertically. Okay, now we're going to draw our second part. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put a line from endpoint to the endpoint there. Okay, now we're going to go grab our off, grab our line tool. We're going to click, we're going to come up 0.125. We're going to come over 2 inches. We're going to come up 2.281 inches. We're going to come over to here to the end. And we're going to come down 0.125. We're going to come over. And we're going to come down uh, 2.185. Actually, you know what? I forgot something here. Let's go undo. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do six undos, seven undos. We're going to right mouse click on this line that we made and set as mirror. Forgot to do that. Sorry about that. Okay, now we'll come up. Let's go 0 0.25, 0 0.25 to make it a little bit thicker. Actually, you know what? Undo. 0.125 is plenty. Click there. Come up 0.125. Come over 2 inches. Come over 2.281. Come over to the end there, which is 1.5. Come down 0.125. Come over 1.5. And then come down till the bottom there. 
which is 2.035. Okay, so now I'm going to basically create a, a three point arch. So we'll grab that, we'll go from that endpoint there, endpoint there. We're going to blow this up a little bit. Okay, now we're going to do the same to the lower line. So we'll grab that one there, go to that endpoint there, blow this up a little bit. Okay, now you're going to get rid of some of these lines, so go ahead. We can get rid of that line. Oh, actually, let's keep that mirror line. Let's just get rid of these. Get rid of the straight lines in there. You don't need those. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get our create rounded corners. We're going to click there and pull till it's a 3.057. We're going to click there, go over to there. It's 0 0.120 inches. Okay, this is going to be our fork. Okay, now what we're going to do, uh, we're going to check, come over here to the structure and click off of part one. So now we're just dealing with this part. So now we're going to click on the mirror line, get rid of it. We're going to grab our trim away tool. Let's get rid of these here. Click, click. Okay, this is good. This is going to be part two. So we're going to go ahead and pull this. Click on the spin tool. Pull that ever so slightly. Select pull. We're going to click there. We're going to pull from both sides. So come down here to pull from both sides. And then we're going to pull this out to, uh, let's just go 3.5 inches. Okay. All right, now we're going to, we have another solid in here. So we're going to right mouse click on that, rename. And we're going to call this part two. Okay, so now we're going to combine these two. So let's click the checkbox under part one. So both parts appear. Now let's rotate this, make sure that the, uh, the part is encompassed in the middle of both of these, and it is. So now we're going to go ahead and um, come over here to combined. And then we're going to select part one and then select part two. Then it's going to give us some, some other parts. So we want to scroll through here and see the one that we want, which is the solid here. Uh oh, something happened there. Undo. OK, so let's go to move. And let's click on that one there. We'll grab and move the part out. Control minus to zoom out. So this is going to be our part that we want. All the other parts, basically what we're doing here when we combine, we're taking this fork, Y wishbone shaped fork with this part and it's making, it's cutting through. It's cutting through this part. So what it's leaving you with is basically that's the center part. Uh, it's leaving you with a, a top, a bottom, then you got the original Y, and then you have the original part of the other part. So we don't need those parts, so we can go ahead and delete those. Unless you want to keep them. Delete. Right mouse click. Delete. And then we'll keep the solid, and we'll go ahead and get rid of the Y. We'll delete. Okay, this is going to be our main part. Okay, so we'll go ahead and... Select that part, we'll pan up. We're going to control plus to zoom in. So this is going to be our part. So what we're going to do is click till everything is selected around the outside and we're going to add a fillet. So we'll just click and drag. And we'll put a 0.04 inch fillet there. And then we're going to do the same on the bottom. Click till everything is selected. We're going to pull. We're going to put a fillet in there of same as the top, 0.040. Okay, now we're going to put fillets in here in these circles. So click and drag, 0.040. We'll put one here. I'll actually undo. Click off of that circle first. Then we'll pull this one, 0.04. And I want to put a, a fillet around all this. 0.040. Okay, 
Okay, now we're going to go ahead and spin this around. We're going to put a fillet in here, click and drag, 12.040, put one right there, 0 0.040, and then we're going to click till everything is selected there, grab the pull tool, 0 0.040. Okay, let's spin this on its side. I want to put a fillet in there if possible. So we'll go ahead and click till everything's selected. Pull. O point oh four oh. Now we're gonna go ahead and spin. I want to put a fillet down here. Okay. Go ahead and pull. 0.040. Okay, this looks good. Uh, we'll go ahead and spin it. Make sure the fillets are where they need to be. And it looks like they are. So we'll go ahead and view this from the top view. This is going to be our finished part. Part. And we'll go ahead and go isometric. Okay, this is going to be our part that we created using the combined feature. Uh, we created this original part. We created the Y, the side here, the Y fork. We basically put both of them together. We use the combine tool to minus them out of each other. And the finished product is this little fork shaped product. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed watching and uh, you found the video useful and you got something out of it. Okay, thanks for watching.